Erev Tov, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. A quick take of our broadcast here. And uh, right about now, we're roughing it, guys. So it's been a pretty intense couple of days here. And uh, we should have our internet up and running on Tuesday. So we're going to be doing the quick takes here for the next couple of days. Uh, get things going again there so we can be more in depth about what's happening. But surely one of the most important things that's happening right now is RT is reporting that Pyongyang, uh, that is Kim Jong-un, is stating that President Trump is begging for a nuclear war. Now, if you actually read the article, it's quite interesting. It's not only the fact that uh, President Trump has sent over another half dozen F-22 stealth bombers to do exercises with South Korea, but we also see that uh, according to the article there, that many world leaders are very concerned about the buildup of forces, and not just conventional forces, but nuclear armed forces in the region around North Korea. There is some grave concern that the U.S. may use nuclear force against Kim Jong-un. I certainly hope it doesn't go to that extreme. Seems like at one point, though, that President Putin seemed to be not so much against Trump going against North Korea because of the situation, so long as conventional means were used, uh, shy of using nuclear force there. But other than that, if it does get very intense over there, no telling what could happen. I certainly don't want to see uh, us into any kind of war, the United States that is, dealing with any country with nuclear weapons, regardless whether it be uh, North Korea or any other country there. But clearly, Pyongyang... That's kind of like taking a little kid on the street and having a big kid get in a fight with him. He's definitely going to cheat, and you can count on that. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, Erev Tov.